Complex rigging systems make use of truss hinges to connect truss at a variety of angles. In the latest version of Spotlight, we have introduced new capabilities for connecting hinged and bookend truss to other truss objects, making it easier for you to design with freedom, knowing that all of your truss will be properly connected. With enhancements to Braceworks, truss hinges will also produce accurate results when you finish your Braceworks calculations, ensuring that you can design with confidence. When it comes to inserting truss hinges, the process is similar to inserting any other truss object. In this document, we are starting off with a few pieces of connected truss. The first thing we will need to do is activate the Insert Truss tool and select a piece of hinge truss from the drop-down menu located in the Tool Mode bar. Because the truss we are using is Eurotruss FD34, we will need to locate the file fd34-corners.vwx. To see only the hinged options, we will need to select the hinges folder from the file. The first hinge truss we will use is an example of a bookend or book corner hinge. So we are going to select the symbol named Truss Book Corn Euro Truss FD34 LVAR Steel. With the symbol active, we will need to hover our cursor over a piece of truss, the same way we would need to when inserting multiple pieces of truss. When you see the red line oriented so that the hinge would open downward in a top plan view, make your first click. This will place the hinge. The second click will determine the angle of the hinge. As you move your cursor down vertically, you will see the hinge open up in the preview. Once the hinge is open, make your second click. This will place the hinge and attach it to the truss at the angle you specified. With the truss hinge selected, you will notice that two blue control handles appear. If you adjust either of these handles, you can change the hinge angle. You can also enter the hinge angle through the object info palette. With the hinge adjusted, we can select another piece of truss and attach it to the other side of the hinge. Next, let's go over the process for inserting a truss hinge that will allow us to change the connection angle for the truss and a vertical orientation. Once again, we'll be starting off with a couple pieces of straight FD34 already inserted. Once again, we will activate the Insert Truss tool and select the drop-down menu to choose another truss hinge. From the Hinges folder, select the symbol named Truss Hinge Euro Truss FD34-SC. Now we will insert the hinge on one end of the truss in a top plan view. Because we are no longer using a book corner truss hinge, we will need to change to a front view before we can make any further changes. By using the blue control handles, we can now change the hinge angle. Keep in mind, this can also be changed through the object info palette. Once the hinge is adjusted, we can select a piece of truss and attach it to the other side of the hinge. And that's how you're able to insert a hinge at any angle into your project. When a standard corner block will not work with your design, you'll have the ability to insert a truss hinge and know that your design will be realistic and ready for Braceworks analysis.